Well, welcome back to my channel. And since I've been gone, I've been working on a few things. One, we built this deck and added a gazebo to it. Uh, the gazebo is a co's co co yard co's yard gazebo, all metal roof with a cupola. Mosquito net, sun shield. Um, also, it comes with rain gutters on the on the top to stop the water from water falling off the top of the roof when it rains. That's another selling point that I liked. Um, this deck was all reclaimed wood that we had in the barn, and I repurposed it, put it on the old table saw, and cut it down and made all the pieces as you see including the steps the co the gazebo is a 10 by 12 foot and I want to give you guys a little look and see um, how we did it this is very nice uh, reasons why we went with this particular one was the Coppola at the top to let the heat out. Also, we have a um, propane little fire pit that goes in the middle. And the heat can go up and escape out when it's on a cool night. The rain gutters. Why don't you guys take a look up here. Okay. That was a quick glance, but rain gutters sold me on it. The mosquito net. A couple things that I did different on this is we added the uh, magnetic um, door here. Um, you can choose whatever door you want. Go online like I did. Uh, Amazon has like a million of them. Do the reviews. Pick the one you like. Um, the particular one we got here has 26 magnets in it. That's why we got it. Let me get there and slice it open. Because the first thing that you're going to get tired of if you buy one of these gazebos is having to unzip it all the time to go in and out. And we're not doing that anymore. So we did that. And let me take you for a little tour. Starting at the top, we added a couple of fans. These are from Lowe's. And they are gazebo fans. Um, we had two of them. They, they comes with hooks up there for you to have them, but there's a mosquito net up here. So how do you hook the fans up when you got a mosquito net up here? So my fix was to put a bar below the mosquito net to hang the fans on. Okay, and these fans are three speeds. Low, medium, and high, which is really cool. Uh... We have the uh, old-fashioned Edison lights up, which are 48 feet long, and we have 24 bulbs, which is a hard one to find. And this is like a almost a lap and a half around this 10 by 12 foot uh, uh, gazebo. Hello, my wife's added some decorations. Uh, of course, everybody's had sales on patio furniture so we picked up a couple things we were going to take back some things we didn't like this version of couch but we kept the chairs because they're about i don't know almost four inches taller than these we added a glass table for short-term stuff but we also have a fire pit that goes there and i'm telling you if you don't have one of these if you don't have the money to build a framed up room for the small amount of you did here um, this is great I mean we close the sunshade stop the breeze I can sleep out here till 1130 at night and the number one thing is I don't have mosquitoes or those sweat bees um, flying around in my face I just kind of sit here and chill out and enjoy it I've seen some online, but none of this brand. You know, I've seen all the cloth versions of these gazebos. This is a metal roof, and 
It is very, very nice. This is the house on this end, so we never open up that end. But we open up these ends so we can see the backyard, see the stars, watch the grandbabies, and sleep out here a lot. Let me tell you, Brother Jackson sees out there a lot. Okay, let me show you my uh, over here. Open this up. Here's the cool thing about this. Let me see if it does it this time. This is why you want to get one of these is because when it goes back, it closes. That is the trick you want. We also have here, let me clear this up. We caught this on sale was the fire pit. And the reason why we liked this one was it comes with a top. And this top can come off to reveal the fire pit ring. See that? That's pretty cool. If you're not going to use the fire pit, we can use it as a table to have uh, inside the gazebo. Down here is your propane tank and igniter. So that's pretty cool. So that is the Coe's Yard uh, gazebo review. One last thing. If you do put one of these together, here is very important. As you put the nuts and bolts in the roof and in the sides and everything, do not tighten anything up until this thing is totally put together. Because you're going to have to do some wiggling and finagling of the sheet metal and the screws to line up. So don't tighten screws and bolts as you go. Leave everything loose until you've got the very last screw and nut and bolt in. And then go back and tighten everything up. It's not going to fall down or fall apart if you do it that way. But if you don't, you're going to be in for some hard wiggling and jiggling. There is no reason to drill any holes like some people have said in the reviews. They just tighten things too soon. Uh, the other thing that they didn't do that they should do is they should give you some rubber washers to go under the bolts as you put the roof together. Because on a very hard rain, if you haven't put this together tight or everything... You might get a leak or a trickle off one of these nuts and bolts up here. Of course, I found that out the hard way. So my fix was, without going out and buying anything, I had some black silicone uh, caulking that I had uh, from another project. And I went up there and lined all the bolts on top so that there would no be no more leakage. Okay, and that's it. That is the end of my review. This is Jetman and I'm out.